So my name is Jordan Ralston. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Reno, Nevada. I train out of a combat sport and fitness. I just recently switched to that gym. My head coach is Kelly Anderson, and on and off, I've been training for the last five years. My fight style, I just want to be mean, honestly. I want to go in there and throw hands. I wouldn't really say that I'm more of a grappler or more than more of a striker, wherever it goes. I'm happy and content. I just really want to punch someone in the face, to be honest. <laughs> so my opponent for this upcoming match, um, August 10th, her name is Christiana Joy Bush. I don't really know that much about her. This is gonna be her first MMA fight. The only thing I do know is that she's shorter than me by like two inches, so that's pretty cool because I'm normally the short person in the fight, so kind of excited about that. I am born and raised in Reno. The only time I've really left Reno is I left for about eight months to go train at MMA Gold in Sacramento, and I injured myself. When I got done with my injury and everything, I wanted to get back to training again. I thought about moving back to Sacramento to train with them. And I knew that some of my original teammates from my very first gym um, had begun training at Combat Sport and Fitness. And something just compelled me to walk in there and I met Kelly Anderson and realized that that was a place for me, undoubtedly. Well, my mom and dad both live here in Reno. My mom just moved back here recently. My dad, for the most part of my childhood, raised me by himself and he is the pride and joy of my life. He was super, super, super tough on me growing up. Like. Uh, the way that he looked at it, you know, is if I did anything wrong, a little fire got started, and he had to do everything he could to put it out. And um, he's always had a very alpha and very dominant personality with everyone. He kind of instilled that in me. And I think that's part of why I like fighting so much is because I firmly believe that I'm an alpha as well. And me getting into the cage proves that to everybody. So I have a three-legged dog. Her name is Tris. Um, she brings a lot of joy into my life. She's the happiest dog in the world. I found her on Craigslist. She was the last one from her litter. No one wanted to buy her. And so they said if nobody came and got her, they were gonna take her to the pound. And uh, she was born that way with three legs and she doesn't know that she's any different from anyone else. Well, I'm a bartender. Um, I was bartending at three different bars. And then when it came time for me to go back to training, I actually dropped down to only working at one bar, which is crazy for me. Um, basically so that I can dedicate myself to the gym fully and entirely. Definitely for me, somebody that motivates me at the gym is Sylvia Badeagan. I've been training with Sylvia since I first started when I was 19 at my very first original MMA gym. And she's actually the reason that I realized that combat sport and fitness um, was there and I popped in there to train with her. She knows me very well and knows when I can be pushed further and when I'm at a point where I need to stop and she is the biggest support. She'll take time off work to be there with me for a fight or a weight cut, anything that I need. Another person that um, really has motivated me since I came to combat sport and fitness and has a special place for me in my heart is Autumn Norton. Um, her and I are about the same size and we train together a lot and she just has a wealth of knowledge to share with me and she's definitely helped me improve my striking tons and tons and I love training with her because we can just laugh and laugh and it makes a uh, hard training days not seem so bad. At the end of the day, I know that I, as far as females go, I am an alpha and when I step into that cage, I am proving to everybody that undoubtedly I am the alpha. I'm not stepping in there to be your friend. I'm not stepping in there to be nice to you. I've sacrificed time, I've sacrificed money, I've sacrificed days where I couldn't spend time with my friends or my family so that I could train for this. And there's just no possible way that I'm going to allow somebody to walk into the same cage as me, the cage that I own, and take this away from me.